Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam with Cape Fear Collectibles. Today we're going to be cracking open two of these Double Masters 2022 collector booster boxes. Uh, there's only four packs per box, so figured we'd crack open two and make the video a little bit longer than just uh, five minutes. Um, we're also going to try to keep these piles separate so we can kind of see what we get per box. And we'll also probably open another two and then another two later this week just to kind of see what these pool rates are going to look like. Um, there's some pretty crazy cards that you can get uh, in these, which I'm sure all of you have seen. There's been a couple videos I've seen of this opening so far. So it's nothing super new, but it'll be interesting to see. So a box within a box. Um, listen to some of the feedback from the last video. So I tried to fix the lighting a little bit. I've got a lapel mic on, so hopefully you can hear a little bit better. Um, so we're going to leave the other box sealed while we start. Like I said, we're going to try to keep these a little separated so we can see the different pools from different boxes. I'm going to go through the commons rather quickly because we've already seen a multitude of regular draft boxes. All right. Ooh, haven't seen this yet. Terminate the borderless uncommon very cool young pyromancer love that art i love the uh continuity they did with the seasoned pyromancer and then the foil terminate so same ones in the box an azorius chancery very cool foil i love these borderless uh, uncommons grand arbiter whiff on the first rare Oh boy, there's a Kozilek. That's a good start. And wow, okay, a Foil City of Brass. We're off to a, a good start. Oh wow, that is sick. And then a Foil Assassin's Trophy. Borderless, very cool. And there's our zombie token. Well, that was a good first pack, I'd say. Uh, put the, get these kind of organized so we can go through it at the end. Not in too big of a rush because we only have two packs left after this. Get these out of the glare a little bit. Wow. All right. Like I said, we're going to just go through these commons and uncommons real quick. Those are all foil, obviously, because it's a collector box still. So we got an Unearth and Inquisition. These uh, borderless uh, commons and uncommons have been doing pretty good. And they seem to be holding their price. I love this artwork for Spell Pierce. And the flavor text is awesome that goes along with it. And then another uh, uh, Sanctuary, Celestia Sanctuary. Man, brain freeze. Um, Jeskai Ascendancy. I wonder if this is going to follow the same. The first rare is not very exciting. Teferi's Protection. Nice. Borderless. This is, uh, I think, over 10 bucks. So, not terrible. Planar Bridge. That's an etched foil right there. Super cool. That's awesome. First, first etched foil. Caligog, Caligon's Command. Borderless foil. Very cool. Man. And as you can see, I'll show off the side. Doesn't look like we've got, what is there? No Pringling. So that's always a plus. Cool. And I'll get our zombie token out. Not too bad so far. I think we've probably made our money back by now. Oop, I did a little sneak peek right there in the back. All right, commons, uncommons, go through these real quick. Flicker Wisp. At least we're seeing a nice riot. Besides that double terminate, we haven't seen the uh, same card twice, so that's good. And the Rectus Carnarium. Cool. Oh, awesome. Burning Tree, I love this card. 
I'm kind of a fan of the original artwork, but that's so cool. Ooh, and a blood artist foil. That's, that dude's face is creepy. All right, what do we got here? First, oh, bam, there we go. Dockside extortionist foil. Very nice. And gifts ungiven, borderless. And I'm not sure the price on this one. Artwork's really cool. Kind of still has that Kamigawa flair to it. Bloodforged Battle Axe etched foil. Not sure on that one either. Most of the etched foils seem like they've been doing pretty good though. And Dragon Lord Dromoka. Mythic alternate art, full art, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the artwork's kind of cool on that. I don't know. Um, it doesn't really uh, float my boat, but it's uh, different strokes for different folks. And we got a bigger token. All right, last one. Let's see what we get. I want to say these are really fun to open, regardless of what's in them. It's definitely exciting. All right. We got the Coiling Oracle first up. And here come the duplicate Spreading Tree, although the other one was a foil. And a uh, foil Young Pyromancer this time. Ooh, man, that's so cool. Monastery Swift Spear. Extended Art Foil. Very cool. Pithing Needle Foil for our first rare. That's not as bad as the Arbiter, I guess, so I'll take it. Oh, boy. Smothering tie. That's pretty cool artwork. I like that. So extended art. Ashen Moore Liege etched foil. I'm gonna have to check these etched foil prices for some of these cards. Ooh, a foil to Fairy's Protection. Borderless. Very cool. And a sapling token. Alrighty, so that was our first box. Not too bad. I'm pretty sure. Let me see if I. Oh, we got our mythics over here. Three mythics. Was there a mythic etched? I don't think so. Nope, just rares. So three etched, three mythics, and the rest were just regular rares. Porter. All right, let's crack one more of these and see how we do, see how it compares to the other one. Like I said, we'll probably do another one of these later in the week, just to get a, give you guys an idea of what you can expect to pull from them. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but there have been talks that there, this particular product might receive a second wave. Um, I'm also just not sure what the distributors are actually holding on to, if they're releasing everything right now. Draft boxes probably the most you could hope for is that the distributors didn't give them all out and they held on to some and they might do a second wave later down the road. Um, but those, the draft boxes are probably gone after this for the most part. Uh, collector boosters might possibly see a, a second wave maybe in, later in July or next month. All right, Spell Pierce. Let me get these back over here. Make some room on this side for everything else. All right. And then a Silisnia Sanctuary. A Kazali Pride Mage, the foil. Ooh, there we go. That's cool. Inquisition of Kozilek, foil. And a Wasatora Nakoru, a queen. The first rare, that's kind of a whiff. Oh, ho, 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 baby. There it is. There it is. That's, uh, well, that paid for that box. Uh, two boxes, probably, for that matter. Hydroid Crisis. Etched foil. And then a Gifts Ungiven Full Art Foil. Sweet deal. So there's our etched. There. I'm not going to separate them by extended art borderless or whatever you want to call them. We'll just do the rares and the foil etched. Cool. Well, that was pretty.
pretty cool to see. All right, we're gonna go through Secret of the Way. Another Chancery. Uh, Unearth. Ooh, very nice. Bloodbraid Elf, haven't seen that one yet. Very nice looking foil. Animar, Soul of Elements for a Mythic for the first one. Ooh, there we go. Bloom Tender, not bad, not bad. Extended Art. Ooh, hoo -hoo. nice. Phyrexian Altar Etched Foil. Not bad, not bad. Oh my god, this pack is insane. Mana Drain. Foil. Extended Art. Very cool. So we had two Mythics in that pack. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. All right, two left. Man, I don't know if we can beat what we've got so far, but we'll uh, we'll keep going. All right, Commons and Commons, Gruel Turf. Haven't seen that one yet. Very cool. Boris Garrison, Thought Scour. Love this artwork. Looks even better in foil for all the popper players out there. Ooh, Eternal Witness. I haven't seen that one yet either in person. Very cool. Lava Lanch for the first rare in this pack. Hardened Scales, extended art, not terrible. I think that one's sitting around 30 or 40 maybe. And Greeter Gargadon etched foil. Yeah, I'm not super sure what we're Dealing with price-wise on that one. And a Consecrated Finx Extended Art Foil. Super cool. Man, that artwork is dope. Wow, we got a lot of one, two, three, four Mythics in this box so far. It's a good box. It's definitely a good box. All right, Commons and Commons. Here's our awesome Thought Scour artwork again. Put this over here. Rampant Growth. I haven't seen that one yet, this video. Oh, there it is again, in foil form. Ooh, Mold Drifter foil. Oh, that foil looks super good. Awesome. All right. First rare. Ah, uh, Teferi's Protection. Just the old regular art. Artwork's kind of underwhelming. Not a lot going on there, but the uh, borderless versions definitely look a lot better. There's a Chaos Warp. And a Concordant for Crossroads Etched Foil. Wow. That is awesome. That looks super nice. And we got a Grim Flare with the alternate art. Not bad. Wow. Okay, so this box, technically, we'll just move this over. One, two, three, four, five Mythics. Four of them being very good. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> this, these two boxes seem pretty good. I, I've watched a couple of videos, um, and wow, gosh, yeah, this is crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. We'll have to open it some more and see what the pool rates are like, but I mean, gosh, this box was bananas. Get another look at these. Man, that, that looks so cool. Mana Drain, and the big one, the big one, that Imperial Seal. Well, cool. That was super fun to open. Hope you guys enjoyed watching that as much as I enjoyed opening it. Um, all these singles will be up on our website. Also, you can get them at uh, CFB Marketplace. We're listed on there. Sealed product as well. Uh, we got some. We had some pretty good prices on all our. Uh, sealed stuff but that was for this past uh, pre-orders are over so we're just gonna go with the market prices now um anyway if you enjoyed the video give us a yes follow subscribe like all that stuff um and i'll try to get a total of what was in these two boxes and let you guys uh discuss amongst yourselves if you think this was uh worth the money i think it was for sure. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll have another one of these up later this week.